Hello and welcome back to American Sporting Classics. Today we're going to discuss miniatures. Uh, many carvers over time have uh, carved miniature carvings. Um, some carvers on only carved miniature carvings. Uh, a lot of carvers start making more miniatures as they get older and it's harder to handle the larger pieces of wood and the larger carvings. So um, anyway, miniatures, I, I find them fascinating. They uh, are literally scale replicas of the full-size decoys that were made by the res respective carvers. Um, and the other reason I like them is you can sneak them into your house uh, many times without your wife knowing it. Um, uh, they, they're easier to hide in little nooks and crannies and so on. So I think, I think miniatures are a lot of fun uh, for, for a number of reasons. So uh, anyway, I'd like to just share some, a, a number of different examples of miniatures today um, from relatively new to um, uh, quite a bit older. Um, the first couple that I'd like to share are by my friend Jerry Talton from Stella, North Carolina. Uh, we have a little, and hopefully you can see those okay, we have a little um, a Drake ball paint on a base. Um, they refer to those as cotton tops. Uh, in, in North Carolina, they also, when I was growing up on the Eastern Shore of Maryland, we called them bald pates. So, um, uh, widgeons are a beautiful duck and uh, they, they show off very nicely in carvings. So a little drake widgeon and this is an old squall or long tail and this is by Jerry as well and the nice thing about this is is Jerry painted a little scene on the bottom of this of a flying old squall which I, I think is a nice touch. So um, wonderful uh, carvings that Jerry has made just in the last year or two. Um, what else do I have? This this little pintail, racy pintail, is by Cameron McIntyre. Um, this uh, he is probably one of the top contemporary carvers today in the world of decoys. Cameron is extremely talented artist and carver. He does paintings, he does decoys. Um, he doesn't put out a lot of work, but his work is quality. On the bottom of this it says made for Cheryl O'Connor by Cameron McIntyre 1992. So that's you know 20 years old, but beautiful beautiful little racy Drake Pintail. Um, here's another relatively uh, new carving and this is really small. I'll try to hold this really close. This is a leased sandpiper by um, Steve Weaver who is from up on Cape Cod. Steve is a very talented carver uh, who has studied the paint patterns of Elmer Kroll for I think 30 or 40 years and uh, he does restoration work on some of Kroll's miniatures. Uh, Elmer Kroll by the way is probably made some of the finest miniatures that were ever made. Um, but uh, Steve's, Steve's work is outstanding and um, I just think this little bird is, is such, a, such a neat little piece. Um, what else? We have a pair of shovelers or spoonbills. These are by Laren Verdan from Louisiana and um, you can see they are very similar to his full-size decoys. Beautiful paint, beautiful carving. They have little raised wings and um, very desirable decoys from down in the Bayou country. So Laurent Verdun. Um, these, these little miniatures were made by Bud Coppage, who was a well-known uh, decoy collector, dealer, and author from Virginia Beach. Bud used to come and hunt on our farm outside of Cambridge down at Town Point in the early 70s and he gave these to my dad as a gift 
um, for one of the hunts that he came on. And uh, Bud was a Bud was just a wonderful guy. He has um, left us unfortunately at a at a fairly young age. But um, at, there there are some notes on the bottom uh, that are tough to read. But you can see uh, he has also branded them BC for Bud Coppage. And then uh, I also have one other uh, miniature of Bud's, and that's a little um, Drake hooded merganser. Again, just beautiful carving and paint. And having hunted with Bud and known Bud since I was a child, um, it, it makes these uh, even more special. So those are Bud. Um, a little Drake wood duck by Dan Brown. Uh, Dan was a a student and protege of the Ward brothers. He lived in Salisbury and Dan uh, made a beautiful birds over over the years. Uh, he also hunted on our farm outside of Cambridge a number of times and um, uh, this one is I think was done around 1960. So a beautiful little Drake wood duck by Dan Brown. Um, this one is actually one of my favorites. This uh, is, is a little tiger, uh, carved folk art tiger that I bought from Donald Scawthorn, who was an early um, folk art dealer and collector from up in Maine. Uh, Donald was a wonderful guy. He and his wife would travel in their van and um, and basically live out of their van. But um, I bought this from Donald when I was very young and didn't pay much for it, but it's, it's one of my most treasured uh, carvings, even though it's, it's not a duck. So beautiful little tiger from, from the coast of Maine. And what else? A uh, few more. Uh, this is a little curlew by Bud Jennings, Forrest Bud Jennings. He was from up in Chamon, New Jersey. And the paint detail on this curlew is extraordinary. Just absolutely beautiful work. And the base uh, actually, it's a cork base and it bears his initials F, FJ. So, um, wonderful little long billed curlew by, by Bud Jennings. And uh, a couple more. These, I don't even know who made these, but this is just to show an example. These are probably from the coast of Maine, a pair of eiders, and um, they're made just exactly the same as full-size decoys in the coast of Maine would be. Uh, big, heavy, oversized decoys that were used in rough water. So um, wonderful, folky pair of, of eiders from the coast of Maine. And then lastly, a couple of flyers. Uh, these were uh, wall plaques uh, that were done by um, the Rheinbolds. Um, and the Rheinbolds made some beautiful, beautiful uh, flying um, plaques. Um, um, Wilmer and William Rheinbold, uh, father and son, uh, I think they were from, I think it's Lansdowne, Pennsylvania. And uh, just, they displayed absolutely beautifully. And I have a number of different sizes of these right now in different species, uh, different species of ducks, uh, pheasant, um, geese, and, and uh, so on. So those are just some examples of miniatures. Uh, I really enjoy them. And um, as far as reference, I think uh, Joe Ellis uh, has published one of the best books on miniatures. Uh, this is mostly about uh, miniatures in the New England region, uh, Birds in Wood and Paint is the title of the book. And um, uh, he has a lot on Elmer Kroll, Joe Lincoln, uh, George Boyd, A.J. Dando, A.J. King, um, Jess Blackstone, Wendell Gilly, um, and then he also includes some information on carvers from other regions as well, but just a wonderful, wonderful reference material. If you're interested in miniatures, I actually have several copies of, of this book in stock, and uh, this, is, this is a must-have for your library. So anyway, um, that's it for miniatures. Uh, if you liked what you saw, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. 
And when you have a chance, check out our website, www.americansportingclassics.com. See you soon.